So for our last example of right, angle, of right triangle trigonometry, we're given a right triangle that has one angle of 65 degrees and a hypotenuse of length 3. And we want to find the lengths of all the sides of the triangle. So let me draw this out. So we've got one angle in the corner. I'll call it theta. And we, we're given that that's 65 degrees. Got a right angle. And we know that a hypotenuse has length 3. And the question is to find the lengths of the other sides of the triangle. And I'm going to use my standard formula, Sokotoa. Some old horse caught another horse taking oats away. And so I'm going to use the sine portion of that formula. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. And I don't know what the opposite is. But I know that the hypotenuse is 3, and I know that theta is 65 degrees. And so the opposite is equal to 3 times the sine of 65 degrees. Remember to set your calculator to degree mode. If you have it set in radian mode, you'll get a very confusing looking answer here. So I type in 3 times the sine of 65, and I get that that's approximately equal to 2.7. So that tells me that the side opposite theta is approximately 2.7 units long. So finally, I'm going to use the cosine part of Sokotoa. So cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is still 3 units. The cosine theta is cosine of 65 degrees. And so if we solve that for the adjacent side, we get 3 cosine of 65 degrees. And that is approximately equal to, the calculator tells me, 1.3 units. So that tells me that the adjacent side to theta is 1.3. Now again, I figured out each one of those sides using Sokotoa. I'm going to check it using the Pythagorean theorem. So as a check here, I'll do 1.3 squared plus 2.7 squared. And that should be approximately equal to 1.3 squared plus 2.7 squared. Uh, if you work that out on a calculator, that actually gives you 8.98, which there was a little bit of rounding when I found those values. That's very close to 9, which is 3 squared. So that tells us that the Pythagorean theorem is satisfied by these lengths, which means that we almost certainly did those right. So again, that came back to writing down all the information we had in the triangle, labeling one of the angles. We labeled the angle we were given as theta equals 65 degrees. And then using the Sokotoa relationships to set up some equations, and then solving for the lengths of the sides that we didn't know. The sine gave us the length of the opposite side. And the cosine Sokotoa relationship gave us the length of the adjacent side. And then it was an easy matter to check that those actually satisfied the Pythagorean theorem. So that's the end of the lecture on trigonometry in right triangles. We'll come back later and talk about trigonometry in triangles that don't necessarily have a right angle. We'll be using the law of sines and the law of cosines to analyze those. Thanks for watching the trigonometry lectures on educator.com.